Another gentleman I, I need to uh, bring up here is I.D.E. Thomas. He was a Welshman uh, theologian. Uh, he was a college professor uh, out on the west coast of the United States. And he wrote what I would call an early primer to some of these teachings, hmm. where alien encounters became one of the, the main vehicles that these, these other authors have, have kind of built upon that foundation. I.D.E. Thomas's book was called The Omega Conspiracy. Oh, I remember that old book. And it yeah. had the serpent seed doctrine and the Nephilim That's right. false eschatology. And in fact, it was actually I.D.E. E. Thomas that uh, granted Tom Horn an honorary doctorate in 2007. So, so that's there the, are connections. There are connections. And we still see a lot of I.D.E. Thomas's name coming up and reference to his book. And on the internet now. Yeah. A lot of the old uh, tapings are now on the internet accessible to whoever wants to hear about it. Um, one of the things that has happened as we have even started writing about this in the last four years is that uh, a virtual marketing empire has arisen to um, promulgate all of these materials into the evangelical world and it seems a lot of it is interlocking even. Um, can you discuss some of that? Yes, again Tom Horn, one of the biggest purveyors of these materials, has his own publishing company. A defender and then there's the offshoots defense and then several others under that anomalous I think was the the first name to that he had as he started out uh, magazine publishing and a f official disclosure was one oh, okay. of the first ones that came out in like 2006 that's where we saw the you know the, the Space alien, alien the alien grays and all of the, the right you know the divine council doctrines that's where I first started seeing that when I did my research uh, but all of them, Chuck Missler has the Koinonia House Publishing. Yes, he has arm. an international reach, yes. Absolutely. And then with all of these men, I think even now Missler has his own uh, Lionsgate Media, where, you know, wherever his compound is in New Zealand now, they're making, they're churning out these DVDs mm -hmm. and tapes. Uh, the conference circuit, they just had the Prophecy in the News a conference in Orlando, Florida. I think they had upwards of 24 speakers, including all the men that we've named and mm -hmm. more. Yes, there's a number of men things. who are really on the fringes of this movement, mm -hmm. including um, a number of men who have decided to be silent about this, who really are the yeah. men who should be speaking out yeah. because they still say that they hold a pre-tribulation or a pre-millennial view yeah. Um, those men have decided to be silent. Which is a very sad commentary. That's very sad. It's this very is the grievous. time when we should be defending the truth Amen. and trying to uh, bring people out of the snare of some of these false teachings because it could lead to some really dark places. And of course these men all have websites, many websites, mm -hmm. blogs, access to radio shows. Um, I've actually was shocked to find out how many of these men had been on the old Art Bell show, which oh, yeah. coast to coast George Nury now, which is a, a kooky show that always dealt with conspiracy theories and the paranormal. And still does. And mm -hmm. all of these men have been on that program at one time or another yeah. and continue to show up there. Yeah, one of the things that we um, mentioned in our article series is that a lot of this is built on conspiracy theory. In fact, I found that in, throughout Chuck Missler's book, Alien Encounters, is that he continually referenced that there was this conspiracy to cover up all of these space aliens that were invading Earth and, and abducting human women and doing these sordid experiments on them. And uh, it finally got to the point where we uh, began to realize that conspiracy theory is a very collect clever psychological mechanism that if I assert that there's pink elves that live on Pluto and NASA isn't telling us, how can you disprove that? You can't. No, so a lot of these men will <clears throat> make these wild, crazy, bizarre assertions and then say NASA's covering it up. Uh, that's where they get into Bigfoot, they get into crop circles, they get into some very, very strange conspiracy theories that you would only hear on the the lunatic fringe, but yet they can always claim the government's covering it up, and therefore who can argue with it? Very clever tactic. And the biggest tactic 
it, going back to like the UFOs, mm -hmm. it would be Roswell, New Mexico. And they, uh, again, tie into the popular culture because you've all seen the pictures of Roswell and they've got the, you know, the alien greys and, and people, no matter who you talk to, oh, have you heard of Roswell? And they, you know, the ship that supposedly, alien ship that landed there right. many years ago and how the government is still today covering it up because they don't want us to know the truth about right. what's happening, what's coming on the earth. And we need to be afraid and know that we can only trust these men. We can't trust our government. We obviously can't t trust the scripture. Mm -hmm. We need to follow them in order to know the way out of this mess. Of course, what they do with their conspiracy theory is that they hope you will believe just a smidgen of what they're saying. Well, maybe there are UFOs. Um, a number of people have seen strange apparitions in the sky. Other people have had experiences with it. But all of that should be brought to the cross, should be brought to the blood of Christ, right. and should be just set aside. We don't even need to think about it. It doesn't, it's not explained in the Bible and we don't go there. But in the occult world, people go there. Yeah. In the occult world, an experience then justifies pursuing the paranormal and spiritualism.